Now, in the as if, as if world, the conventional world, we are built, we are built for suspicion, I would say, for every conceivable kind of personal mishap and trouble and lack of communication and giving love a terrible, terrible hard time. You know, what is the essence of loving but to be bust, to, to disappear in favor of the loved one? Every one of us knows that. You know, it may seem rather sentimental, but I think it's really true that in the as, as is world, the given world, the true world, the world as it is, not the conventional world, but the world as is, that we die for one another. Now, uh, you see, when I look at, in imagination, look at Douglas from there, there he is. You know, I, I, I imagine Douglas as you see him, or I take that guy in the mirror and shove him here, then Douglas is not, uh, you know, there he is. Dying, but not yet dead. On the way out, but still around. But when I come up here in my attention, it's like an arrow or bullet, which comes here and is nothing left. Nothing left by the time the arrow gets to here, but nothing left except awareness, except awareness. And I say, it's not because I'm a nice chap, because Douglas is not a very nice chap, but because we are built, I would say, to give our lives to one another, to disappear in each other's favor. And you say, well, this is not real death, Douglas. No, I think it is more real than the conventional death, because you know, an undertaker, or what you call him, a mortician in Australia? Anyway, an undertaker has to deal with some, when Douglas dies, has to deal with some mess, some goo. <laughs> but there's no goo left when you come home to who you are. It's a real dying. And you know, there's a teacher who said, greater love hath no man than this, that he give his life for his friend. I say we are built to that wonderful pattern. And if we live from that pattern, we give love a chance, more than a chance. We are living in a world which I would say is rich with blessing, rich with blessing. I mean, we have come to the place where death cannot enter. Death cannot enter. You know, Tomorrow we should be doing experiments about this, but just let me mention this. I look in the mirror and I see Douglas, who is 82 years old. He's dying. And I bring the mirror up here. We should be doing it tomorrow. Uh, bring the mirror up here. And long before it gets here, it's all gone. Death is there. And I bring up the mirror and the face disappears as I bring it up. It goes all blurry, and here, here it cannot come. It cannot come. So there was a poet, whom you will remember, who said, who asked him a rhetorical question. O oh death, where is thy sting, O oh grave? Where is thy victory? And I say, there, it can't come here. It can't come here. Because here one is busted wide open into this wonderful space which Shakespeare speaks of, this transparency.